Hey Heather, how you doing? Hey Herbert, good, how are you? How has Bend treating you? <laughs> Bend is awesome, I love it here. Although I'm supposed to not rave about how great it is, but it's pretty awesome. <laughs> are they worried you're going to drag in more people to Bend? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like the last one who comes to Bend closes the door and lets no one else in? <laughs> yeah, it tells everyone it's horrible. This place is horrible, it's so cold. So how long <laughs> have you been there actually? Um, we came up right before New Year's Eve, so uh, about three weeks now. And um, where are you actually physically staying? We actually got a house up here, so <laughs> we have, um, yeah, it's really, really cheap, which is partly why we were looking up here, and then um, my brother lives here, and my parents are looking to move out here um, after they retire in a year or two, so we've been coming here about three years now and love it so we've been looking for the past year and so now we're here <laughs> excellent excellent uh, I think you're going back to California on Friday yes yep we're going back Friday uh, we still have a condo down there um, and I'm running the half marathon excellent um, the, that's the Carlsbad half I guess yes yep so what are the predictions what are the goals <laughs> well, I ran 116 there last year, so and that was off of my own just kind of long runs, nothing specific, and already this year I've been doing a ton of very specific kind of more interval efforts, so I'm, I'm hoping to, to beat that this year. 115? <laughs> Hopefully. Excellent. It's always a group of uh, like Kenyans and Ethiopians that run it. And last year, I was just like, no, you know, just do your own race. But this year, I'm going out with them. So <laughs> excellent. If you don't set your goals high, you won't get there, right? You have to exactly shoot for the shoot for the moon. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so then, after Carlsbad, the very important Carlsbad half marathon. Yeah, <laughs> my A race. Yes. What's going on after that? So then we'll go from there to um, Tucson, where I've never been, so uh, it should be interesting. But I'm going out for a three-week camp with Cliff English. So I started working with him in um, right around Kona this year is where I met with him. And we've been talking to him for um, probably two or three years now, and it just it never kind of came together. And I finally decided, okay, it's time to actually – hire a coach and, and take that next step in terms of specificity with training and program and, you know, laying out my year, things like that. And it's been unbelievable. So you'll have a three week training camp with Cliff. And then I guess sometime in the near future, you'll have maybe another A race after that Carlsbad one. <laughs> and so usually I start out with a, uh, just a local, Olympic just to test before Oceanside and this year since I moved Alcatraz um, I'm gonna actually start with that on I think it's March 4th and um, it, I guess with it moving so much earlier does that really change the water temperatures much or can you not really get any colder anyway <laughs> yeah you probably can't get much colder. I've actually never done it I've always wanted to try it I've always been scared about my swimming ability but <laughs> Now I'm finally going to give it a go <laughs> and hopefully not get pulled downstream. Um, talking about your swimming, um, so where do you think your swimming is now compared to, let's say, two years ago? Oh, my gosh. Two years ago, it's it's huge. And even just the past, um, yeah, four, three to four months, really, since starting with Cliff, um, I really think that it's it's uh, improved. So I'm, I'm excited to test it out. Um, it's been totally workouts on my own, um, a lot of strength work, a lot of chords, a lot of band work, so yeah, I mean, I, we'll see after Alcatraz, but I know, I already know that it's, it's definitely, um, it's, it's improving. Should the other pro females be very scared? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> okay, we won't go there. Hey, let's, let's just briefly talk about last season. Okay. Um, what is your general opinion about 2012? Good? Could be better? I was ecstatic about 
last year. I mean, I finally got that elusive win. I had been trying, trying, and I had had, you know, a few th- seconds, thirds, and so Wildflower was huge for me. And so that was, I mean, that's one of my favorite races. And so for that to be my first win was just, I think I was on a high for three months after that. And then it was that refocus, okay, focus in for Vegas. And I was, again, really happy with Vegas. Um, I don't, um, it wasn't necessarily fitness. Um, I totally blew up on nutrition stuff in that race. So it, it was, it's exciting for me to know, you know, where I was, my training into it and where, how I came into that race. Um, and just the little mistakes that I made, um, that I know I can do better there. So I was happy. Plus also you had still had a good result despite, as you said, blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I was I was so happy with third, definitely. So hopefully better this year. <laughs> uh, you were fourth, I think, in Maui. Fourth in Maui. Yeah, that was. Oh my god, that was a blast. <laughs> so is was is that kind of like an exception? Do you just kind of you did that because you kind of could, or are you planning to do more Xterra races? Um, I want to do a few more. I def- I'm going to go back this year again to Maui. Um, that was just kind of. I had emailed begging for them to let me to try it. I'd never done one before, so I wasn't even sure if they would. And, you know, thanks to the Xterra people for that. And it was, I mean, I would love to race Xterra fully. I think it was, it was, it suits me and it was very, it was so much fun. Um, it's a lot more high intense. It's almost like cross racing, but for two and a half, three hours. But, I mean, obviously we know <laughs> that a lot of, the attention is more on road triathlon, so we'll stick with that. But throw in a few there, here and there, definitely for fun. Um, in terms of your sponsors, you're still on a Camden. You're still on, on Zoot. Camden. You're, you're wearing Zoot. What else is new and exciting? So the newest and exciting is um, a new sponsorship with Herbalife. So as my nutrition sponsor, they're making a push to get into endurance sports, and they have a new... Um, a new, yeah, endurance line. I actually have my favorite. You see that? Oh, yes. Okay. This is their chocolate recovery shake, which is delicious, <laughs> I must say. But So how often do you have one of those? Um, I usually have them after most of my hard workouts. Um, so that, and then they have a hydrate. It's kind of like the little tabs you can just put in for electrolytes and then they have a, a carbohydrate and protein um, mix for during racing and training as well. So, cool. uh, Anything else? How about a car sponsor? <laughs> I got Wadi working on that right now. So <laughs> That sounds good. You better get on it because a car sponsor would be pretty good. And better be not, it better not be some crappy car either. Uh oh! I don't know what you're. Uh... Wait, do you have a flex? Uh, Somewhere? no, that uh, that's what I have, but okay. but I paid for it, so <laughs> that's not that interesting. But, no, I uh, anything else going on? Anything else exciting? Um, not really. I'm just I'm getting excited for the season to start. It's been it's been a few months of kind of lockdown, getting back into a good nutrition plan. Cutting out the beers, you know, <laughs> staying focused. So, I mean, talk about cutting out the beers. I mean, how strict of a diet do you actually have, and how se- do you think you can have a little bit of fun, or can you have can you let da- your guard down every now and then and have a beer or have a donut, <laughs> or once the season starts, that stops. Um, I'm very much kind of all in or or not and so November December was pretty ugly in terms of just not caring at all and then I said okay Jan 1st so I just had a really hard three-week block and I dialed it in I had I don't I had a beer this past Sunday um it was the end of the block so I was like okay Sunday night is the splurge night so I gave myself kind of three weeks and then give myself a day or two. Yesterday I had a day off completely. Um, and so I just kind of go in blocks and then I, it's kind of that light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I'm at the end of the tunnel. Exactly. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we wish you good luck in Carlsbad and then at Alcatraz 
and of course in Oceanside. Yeah. And hopefully we'll talk again soon. Yes, definitely. Thanks so much, Herbert. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.